Hello, I am Dr. Indranil Haldar, a consultant pulmonologist, associate professor and head of the Department of Pulmonary Medicine, College of Medicine and JNM Hospital. In the last few weeks, we are seeing that the world is upside down due to the pandemic of COVID-19. Midst of this, we will be observing our World Asthma Day on 5th of May this year. So this is something which I will be telling my asthma patients. They have to keep their asthma in full control. To do this, even in the times of the COVID era, they have to take their inhaled medication regularly and properly. They should know how to take their inhaler with their device and to whether they are taking the inhaler in the right way, proper way, they can refer to different literatures and videos that are there in the websites. Secondly, there is a phobia about the steroid inhaler. People think that the steroid may increase the chance of COVID infection, which is not true. It has been proved beyond doubt that the steroid inhaler doesn't increase the chance of COVID infection. On the contrary, if they are taking the inhaler regularly, they will be well controlled with asthma of, for the asthma and chances of having COVID will be less. If they are having an exacerbation, they should identify the exacerbation in the right time and from the asthma written asthma action plan, they should increase the dose of the inhaler, the short acting beta 2 agonist or the reliever inhaler. Even they can start with their steroid medication, the oral steroid medication. Even the oral steroid medication taken for the few days will control their asthma and not increase the chance of the COVID infection. The only thing that they should not do is to start nebulization and take nebulization randomly. Nebulization increase the aerosol spread and spread of COVID and it has already been proved beyond doubt that their specialized metered dose inhaler with special is as good as their nebulization. So don't be panicked. Keep your asthma under control. Take your inhalers regularly and in the proper way. And if there is any increase in symptoms, you can take our helpline. Ask us via telemedicine. We are available on telemedicine. Ask us what should be the right step that you can take. In fact, our different hospitals are also and our private clinics are also running. So you can take our help to take care of yourself and to take control of your asthma. So thank you.